the who was the Bruins first round draft pick last year, uh, 21st overall. So Fabian, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. Yeah, for sure. So my first question is, can you take us through uh, where you grew up and what the hockey culture was like there, uh, the teams you looked up to and uh, players you looked up to? Uh, <clears throat> I grew up in uh, Gothenburg, uh, which is a city in Sweden. Um, I played for uh, a junior team that's called uh, Hovos until I was like 14, I think. Um, after that, I switched and I played for, for Landa for basically um rest of the years until coming here until just like i i switched teams last year um and played up north in sweden uh none of my um, family members actually played hockey i uh, was kind of the first one who uh, got into it um my dad plays soccer uh, my mom was a figure skater but i just tried to uh, i tried uh, all different kind of sports but kind of got stuck with hockey so that's uh, that's how we went. Yeah. So when you were growing up and playing hockey, was there anything that was a part of your skill set or your game that you thought that I uh, had an advantage over your competition in? Uh, uh, well, I think I've always had like pretty good skating um, and like vision of the game. Um, so that was that's probably the what like uh, my strengths are in my game. I would say. Yeah, so your draft year was in 2021. Uh, it was last year's draft. Uh, the year before that, a global pandemic started. How did you stay on top of things and uh, finding ways to improve? And how did it impact your draft process? <clears throat> well, it was obviously difficult, I think, for everybody. Uh, just like having to uh, kind of change your whole whole life around and, and get used to that. Um, I think we're still kind of in that that weird thing that we always have to use mask and uh, show vaccination card and, and all that stuff. Um, but it didn't really affect my hockey. Um, as I said, I played last year, I played for Frölunda with the junior team there. Um, and when like the pandemic hit and that season got canceled, I already had switched teams and I played with the, the SHL team there. So in uh, Luleå, um, what kind of like, uh, was a struggle for us or at least the guys who were used to playing with big crowds last year they said that it affected them a little bit like they were so used to get that kind of push from the crowd there um, but I wasn't that used to playing with big crowds uh, so for me personally it didn't really change change a lot and we obviously had all our games still playing and stuff so um, it didn't really affect it that much if I'm being honest. That's good. It didn't really affect it. I think you got to really appreciate now that fans are back. Uh, so take me through your draft day process. Where were you? Uh, and what was that day like? Um, we were in uh, Plymouth um, in uh, Detroit there. We played a, like a summer scrimmage with the national team. Um, so the draft, I think we practiced on the morning and then we just like had all the, all the guys on the team uh, just sitting there watching and we had a, uh, a camera if uh, anybody got picked they would uh, turn that on and, and show the guy so that's basically how it how it went and then after you just went into this room and had had a like different uh, meetings or interviews or whatever so um, it was nothing special but um, I wasn't at home uh, with my family and uh, all that stuff yeah, that's got to be a different experience than, than most being, you know, at the USA Development Academy, but still a very memorable day. But what was it like to be drafted by the Boston Bruins, original six team, numerous Stanley Cups, one of the best players to ever play the game, you know, wore a Bruins jersey. What was that like? Uh, well, it's uh, just to get drafted is obviously special. Um, and I think Boston, as you said, it's uh, original six clubs. So uh, it's definitely... It's definitely something uh, that I will, uh, I'll hope, hope to, uh, I'll hope, I'll hope to uh, get into that organization here in the, in the future here. Um, but yeah, it was just like uh, one of those moments that you like, you've always looked forward to it and you always like worked hard for it. So um, when that day comes, you kind of like have to take a moment and like uh, realize like how far you went that uh, this far. Um, 
but at the same time it went pretty quick after that we had games and uh, at the summer scrimmage and uh, the season was was about to start so <clears throat> you have to appreciate the moment but uh, at the same time you uh, you can't be in that that moment for for too long you still got to keep playing and keep practicing and uh, and all that stuff I think that's a great way to look at it cuz I think you see a lot of other sports and you see when players get drafted they really shut things down for a few days and um, really take time to go through the moment. So the thing I want to ask is, are you ready for the expectations of playing in Boston? Because, you know, this isn't, you know, Arizona or Dallas. Like this is a team where the fans expect a championship uh, mindset every single season. Yeah, no, I love that. I think um, I'm a competitive person. So uh, whatever I play, I, I want to win for sure. Um, like f the first step is to, uh, to get there and um, to get the chance to play. Um, I think uh, you kind of just don't have to uh, think that far ahead right now. Uh, you just try to just take it day by day here. And uh, if um, like once that, uh, once that opportunity comes, I'll definitely be prepared and um, just uh, seek in the moment. Yeah, it's a, that's a great way to look at it. So obviously that same summer, if you get drafted, uh, you go to a development camp, in Boston, just take me through what that was like. And uh, was there anything that you took away from the camp that you've been applying uh, to your game in Vancouver? <clears throat> well, obviously, uh, coming over here to North America with the smaller ice surface, it's it's definitely a different game. It's I would say it's faster and more straightforward than what I was used to um, on European ice. But uh, except from that, it went so quick. Uh, I remember in Boston. Um, like all of the guys are uh, are super skilled and, and know where to to put the puck and where to be all the time. Um, it kind of makes it it makes it hard, but also like easier in a way. Um, and then just like um, after that, uh, playing here junior league here, it's uh, it's as I said, it's quick, it's it's forward, and it's pretty physical. So uh, it's uh, it's an adjustment, but I've joined it. I have enjoyed it so far. Yeah, definitely. And you can't beat Warrior Ice Arena. That's something that we see a lot in Boston and um, definitely is everything that you can ask for to uh, become a better hockey player. So uh, just take me through how the process works of picking your team, uh, like before you get called up to the Bruins, because, you know, some guys who did get drafted uh, in your class, you know, they're in Providence. Some people go to the OHL, QHL. How did you end up in Vancouver? Uh, well, I think kind of just after the draft, they, uh, they thought it would be a great uh, development for myself to to get over here and get adjusted, as I said, to the ice surface, the culture and all that stuff. So, yeah, they they signed me um, pretty much uh, after the draft there. And um, I got to Boston with like pretty open minded. Uh, but uh, we kind of knew that I was going to Vancouver there after the development camp and uh, it's been great so far. Yeah, definitely. So what is it like playing there? And just because, you know, you're a Bruins prospect, how often do the Bruins communicate with you? Uh, well, I talk to them uh, a lot. Uh, they have a bunch of different guys who, with the development group there, that they either visit or uh, we talk on the phone. Um, so yeah, they they do they do a great job with uh, with keeping in touch and uh, see how things are going all the time. Um, but it could be about hockey; it could also be about different stuff. Yeah, for sure. So uh, my last question is: What do you want to accomplish? You know, in the meantime, before you know that phone call does come, where it's time to play for the Bruins. Uh, well, in the meantime, um, like this year, I feel like it's the biggest thing is probably like the adjustment to just move away so far from home and, and get used to that. Uh, I feel like that's the most important thing, like for the, for the future. Uh, but definitely like with, the with the hockey stuff, it's just like to, uh, to try to have the discipline and, and, uh, the work ethic to put in that all, all uh, every day here. Um, so whenever that opportunity comes, I'm, I'm prepared for that. Yeah, so I actually have another question. Um, someone who I've interviewed in the past on the show is Jesper Wallstedt. He's uh, someone that you went close with in the draft, top goalie in the draft uh, from Sweden as well. What's it like when going through the pretty much a similar process like yourself? 
Yeah, no, he's uh, obviously a, uh, a really good goaltender. Uh, it's rare to see a, a young goaltender like that being so good. But um, yeah, no, he's great. And uh, as you said, I played with him last year and I practiced with him and all that stuff. So we kind of went through the same kind of process there um, with the interviews and stuff. So um, yeah, we just, uh, we could talk about uh, all, all what that included in that process. So it was good to have somebody to uh, to go through that with. Yeah, and obviously the next uh, check in the box is playing against them in the pros. So I think that would be awesome too. So our last uh, thing is, do you have any pieces of advice uh, for a younger crowd who are playing hockey and you know really trying to make that next step uh, in their development? Uh, <laughs> I think... Um uh like have fun with what you enjoy doing uh i think that's definitely the main thing if uh if you if you really like hockey and you like like being out stick handling or shooting pucks like you you can't do enough of that um that's uh, what i remember when i was young i stick handled uh a lot uh and i think that that's definitely helped me with my hand eye and all the coordination um nowadays so definitely that um and then just like uh take your time to develop it's uh, it's no rush for sure yeah definitely well fabian uh thank you so much for taking part in this interview i'm going to kick it back to danny who's gonna uh, close us out and we'll transition to the next zoom room for our members awesome thanks uh thanks again for jumping on here and if you're if you're new to us this is your first time jumping on this isn't the whole show. If you want to join us for our private session here, um, hit the link that I just sent here. I'll send it again in the chat. Hit that link, sign up really quick. It is currently uh, 7.56 Eastern time. Uh, and so we're gonna, we're gonna say at 8.05, so about a, nine minutes from now, we're gonna jump on that other Zoom um and do a little private session there i know brendan looks like he's already got a question he's going to jump on that other one he's a member uh brendan if you can't find the zoom link member it's in the project hockey app so make sure you check that out again jump on there sign up we're going to be giving away um a free uh some free swag here in a second and then we're also going to be entering our members in for a super deaker and then we are also you're going to get the chance to ask fabian some questions um whatever you like about his, his journey and in, in hockey in general. So excited, excited to, uh, to do that. Anybody got any questions before we jump off? Like for me, obviously we'll, we'll head on over and do the Fabian one in a second. All right. Oh man, Brendan, what a question. <laughs> yep. Awesome. Cool. Um, if anybody's got any more questions, Brennan, hold that question. You're going to ask it in about two minutes. Um, do you, you have a question? Do you want to put it? Do you want me to unmute you? Here, I'll unmute you. Should be able to talk. Yep. Just curious. Uh, how old are you? But, I mean, how long have you been doing hockey and stuff? Like, yeah, how old are you in general for this? Oh, that's a question for Fabian. Awesome. Yeah. So we're going to, we're going to have questions for him in, in the next zoom. So if you want to hit the link that do you see the link I put in the chat? Um, so any of our members are, are eligible for that, that link. And then, um, or are those questions? So if you have those questions, let us know. And we'll, we're going to jump over there. So we'll see everybody in about seven minutes on that other, on that other zoom. Looking forward to it. Looking forward to it. See everybody. Bye guys.